Hey everyone, it's Brandon and Tyler with Everyday EV here with another Tesla Model 3 accessory from Test Bros. We have something really exciting that we're doing to the exterior of our Model 3 and Tyler is going to go in depth of what we're doing. So we decided we wanted a little bit of change compared to all the other white Model 3s in our area. So I got the pillar delete in satin from Test Bros. Because we have a new Model 3 with the black trim, I went ahead and ordered the satin to actually match it. It's actually gonna paint or cover this entire top portion of our roof in black. So it's gonna look a little like two-tone, which is actually gonna look really nice, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. it's gonna look great. I mean, the, the floating roof design is a little outdated for other vehicles, but a pillar delete, I think, is always gonna look fresh. I think so. so. Pretty yeah. excited about this one. Really excited. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what we're gonna do for this video is we are going to talk about the install and exactly what it's like. That way, if you guys are interested in purchasing this pillar delete kit from Test Pros, you know what to do. And one other thing that we wanna make sure that we clarify is that none of our Test Pro accessory videos have been sponsored. We have bought that out of our own money. Um, we do have a discount code for Test Pros that we will include in the description below. However, like we mentioned, we purchased all this with our own money. So Test Pros, if you are interested in sponsoring us, we would love to do more videos with your products. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with the install for this kit for our Tesla. Okay, so let's get started here. So you're gonna need the Test Pros pillar wrap kit, a few microfiber towels, you're gonna need a blow dryer or a heat gun just for a brief moment. And you're also gonna need 70% uh, iso alcohol antiseptic cleaner. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pour that on a microfiber towel and we're actually gonna clean the pillar. Now FYI, make sure you have washed your car beforehand like we did. Um, but you're still gonna want to apply this here. You just wanna really make sure that the edges and the whole pillar itself are gonna be nice and clean in order for the wrap to actually adhere the vinyl itself. Uh, so you want to use that squeegee there that I had, the orange one with the foam end, because that way you can actually get in between the crevices of the car here on the glass and on the side. So we can actually get it nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead and apply our first piece of PPF. Uh, you, on the back side, there's actually numbers and letters. So D stands for driver, P is for passenger. This stuff is actually really easy to install. Uh, very, very flexible, very forgiving if you need to take it off like I just did there. You just wanna make sure you align it up. And make sure that you have enough on the edges of all the panels in order to tuck it in. Um, and then if you need to realign like I just did, you can, really easy to do that. Then you just take your fingers and you just basically just push out those air bubbles. If you have any more, just take a microfiber towel, apply some more pressure, or even take the squeegee and lightly press out those as well. Then you're gonna take your squeegee again, and I open up the door for this part. You just kinda wanna tuck in those corners into the edge of the panel. Um, really important, just kinda take your time with this. It's really easy to tuck these in. The squeegee, this orange thing, is so nice to have. I uh, really like it. The foam end makes it so much easier. You just want to make sure all parts of that vinyl piece there are tucked in nicely to the panel. I just kind of went over that a few times just to make sure I get everything nice and tight so it doesn't come up. And there we go. There is our first piece. It's actually looking pretty nice if I do say so myself. I'm kind of excited to see how the rest of this turns out. So now that we have our first piece, you just wanna make sure that those little corner pieces are nicely tucked in uh, once you get towards the end. And there we go. And then what we want to do here is once you are done, I'm just kinda of going back over uh, the edge just to make sure because I saw a few bubbles <laughs> once I had proper lighting. You see we brought our ring light out just so we had nice lighting here in the garage just to make sure we got everything as we needed to. All right, so here we go for the main section of the car. This is gonna be number D2 in your kit. Um, so I'm basically just kind of taking my time. I just wanna make sure you get the corner piece, the bottom piece here aligned. It's also really important too that you get the corners to overlap a little bit so that way you can actually tuck in that vinyl. It's really nice to have a helper, so I'm glad Brandon helped me out with this. Uh, but you just kind of want to align this piece. I also like that the corners of this kit were actually cut so that we actually see where you need to tuck in the corners of this vinyl piece. But as you did in the first piece, you just want to take your fingers and work out those air bubbles there. I didn't 
uh, put in the corners yet or the edges of the vinyl. I was just working on the main top portion here and just kind of working out those air bubbles as we go, which is really helpful. And if you need to, you can always use a microfiber towel to apply extra pressure. But I found that actually just using your hands and your fingers to press out the air bubbles was good enough. Uh, didn't really have any problems with that at all. It was actually really easy to apply. I also like here, you might be able to see in the video that there are multiple sections to this. So it's not just one huge peelable section. You actually have it in little sections. So it's actually easier to kind of work with this material as you're working your way up the roof. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of on my tippy toes a lot, even though our Model 3 is kind of short relative to the height of the car. I myself am not, I'm very vertically challenged. So it's nice to actually have someone like Brandon who is a lot taller than me, who can help me with the top portion of the roof. Now I found that it was kind of hard for me to actually see where I needed to align it. So it's nice to have a second set of eyes to kind of help you align it uh, as you go up here, especially as you're working around the glass roof, you wanna make sure you don't have too much overhang of the vinyl. But as you can see, <laughs> I actually did have to bring out the step ladder. Um, always have to, I feel like in a lot of these situations, which is totally fine. But hey, we got the top part of the vinyl and now we're good. So now we can work our way down the car here and I'm just kind of working on pressing out those air bubbles as Brandon is working down the B to C pillar section here. But honestly, so far it went on really easily. We were pretty impressed with how easy this was to install in the kit. Uh, now we're kind of working towards the bottom part of the C pillar and you do want to have your trunk open for when you get towards the end of this because you do have to tuck in the bottom end of the vinyl into the trunk area itself. Uh, but Brandon is just finishing up alignment there and I'm checking for any air bubbles. We had a couple but we honestly didn't have as many as we thought we were going to have uh, with this kit. And don't worry, if you need to peel up on the kit, uh, go ahead and do so. Just make sure you don't tuck in the edges to this kit until you're done applying the whole pillar. I found that to be more helpful just in case we had any mistakes that we had to clear up. But I'm finishing the corner here and then Brandon is actually taking that squeegee tool, the orange one there, and he's going ahead and tucking in the corners. He's starting up from the inner part uh, where the glass and the pillar meet. Um, that one was pretty easy. It's kind of hard for me to see that just because of how short I am. So I'm letting Brandon do that. And I am tucking in the back area. This is where we had the most air bubbles, I think. Um, we had a couple stubborn ones <laughs> that just didn't want to come out. But no worries, we finally got those out. But basically, you just kind of work your way slowly. You want to use the foam edge to kind of tuck in those corners of the vinyl between the pillar and the edge of wherever that pillar is. Then you want to tuck right here as Brandon is doing in between the pillar and the trim to the door itself. That's really important to do too. I want to make sure you have that all tucked in. And the foam edge is the best part to use, uh, in my opinion, to do this edging part to kind of tuck in that vinyl. Then we'll do the last little portion here on the trunk, which just like the front, this is D3, that that one was super easy to install. Do the exact same thing on the passenger side. This took us maybe about an hour to do and we are pretty much done. So we have officially finished installing the Test Pro Pillar Delete Kit, and overall, it turned out pretty great. I think we're pretty happy with it. We are, we kind of learned our mistakes on the driver's side. Didn't do that for the passenger side, so we did the driver's side, and then we're good. Yeah. And I'm so glad that it came with like double of what you needed from Test Pros. It's nice that they include double the uh, vinyl, <laughs> just in case you mess up. <laughs> yes, yeah, and especially this is, I would say this is probably our first time wrapping an automobile. Uh, at least for me, I've never wrapped anything before and just full transparency, it stresses me out. So this was a really easy kit to install. And overall, it probably took maybe an hour. Um, if, you know, say so. if you know what you're doing, it'd probably only take about 30 minutes because the one side was a breeze after we went over the other side. Yeah. So You just live and learn. Yes. But I'm used to it with vinyl stickers on race cars. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I would say skill level is probably an easy to medium with this kit. Depends. Yes, yeah. depends. Yeah. So relatively happy with it. I think it turned out great it looks really good and especially in white yes. it looks really good in white especially with white so <laughs> yeah. 
Well, anyways, everybody, uh, this is going to be one of our videos as part of our accessories that we bought for our Model 3, so we're pretty excited to be uh, sharing this with everybody. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like and share with your friends. And as always, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to Everyday EV. We have a lot of exciting content coming and a lot of good things coming as well. Yeah, we do. So as always, make sure you take care, stay safe, and make every day electrifying. And we'll see you guys in the next one.